Today is a momentous epoch where we see the Inspector General of Police of Uganda voluntarily resigning from office, citing personal reasons, family and health. Okoth Ochola, IGP Okoth Ochola, thank you very much for the role you have done to the Uganda Police Force and to Uganda. You will remain in history as a very thorough Inspector General of Police, Okoth Ochola. I thought of putting this on record. As a political philosopher, I got to make three issues straight. One, while you are Inspector General of Police, you allowed the systems to work. You allowed the systems to work. You allowed the police systems to work all over Uganda. And that brought normalcy. Because before you came to office, there was a lot of tension, there was a lot of infighting, there was a lot of killings among the police officers, but when you came to office, you allowed the systems to work. Thank you. You are not an inspector general of police that was seen at every crime scene in uh, Gulu, in Kisoro. You allowed the systems to work. Two, Ugandans should know that you handle disciplinary cases, high-profile disciplinary cases among the senior police officers. Much as you have not finished all, it will go on record. The third thing which I want to tell Ugandans, whoever is coming to replace the Inspector General of Police, we need sanity in that office. We need soberness in that office. We don't need favoritism. You remember the time several police officers were deranked and demoted because people were awarding ranks to relative friends and ill law. Okotho Chola, you stood firm and there is no single case of corruption that I know of against you. And I want to quote you once. When you started office, you said, if you see anyone following you and you don't understand that they want to arrest you, why should you accept? That is a very poignant statement coming from the IGP. Be it as may, go to your retirement and have a fruitful life. In your statement, you said you are going to another section of your life. This is also an appeal to some government leaders. There are some people who cannot even walk. There are some people who are so old and they cannot retire from offices. Let's use the example of Okoth Ochola to be a good example, especially politicians. Some can't even walk on their own and they cannot even resign and give space for the younger generation. Thank you so much, IGP Okoth Ochola, senior counsel. Ugandan history will remain remembering you. And as a politician, also allow me to say we also want to see regional balance in your replacement. We don't want to see the army commander coming from here, the commander of prisons from here, the commander of what from here. So as someone is coming to replace IGP Ochoala, we expect to see regional balance. And whoever comes in that office, serve Ugandans. God bless you, IGP Ochoala, and we wish you well in your retirement. <laughs> Abila Nero Wajon, Kipo Binule, Tonki Cholpa.